Hey, what's good YouTube? Welcome to yet another video and welcome to my channel. And first things first, well, what I wanted to tell you is just like a huge, huge, huge thanks for, well, for the support you showed me during the last video, for the last video, and you guys just blew it up. Like it destroyed any any previous best numbers uh, that I had on this channel ever, especially in this uh, short period of time. And I am super super thankful and super grateful for you guys. You guys are amazing, and uh, well, I, you just blew my mind completely. So really, thank you, thanks a lot, thanks thanks to every single one of you. And uh, now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know the video I'm talking about, go. Make sure you, you check it out. It, the link to it will be somewhere on uh, this corner right here. Uh, so yeah, just check it out. And uh, if you're new, don't don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this type of content. But for now, we can just go straight into the video. Okay, and now first thing on topic, what I really want to say is there is no secret vault opening method. There just isn't. I know that sometimes it feels like you're doing something and it feels like it it might work, but like if you would just play a hundred games doing that method and uh, you just wrote down on a piece of paper like how many times it actually worked or didn't, well, you'll see that it's it's just well it doesn't do any like it doesn't make any difference uh, whether you do that uh, random method or not. So there is no way to get your special prize of. Uh, doing some voodoo magic. So the only thing you can do to reach your desired reward faster is play your games faster. And this is what I'm here to teach you. So first part of the video is gonna be for current gen and the next part of the video is gonna be for next gen and I honestly think that next gen is way way faster uh, just because of the loading times. So if you came here and you're playing only on next gen you can just go ahead and skip the video to uh, this, this time right here. I think I should leave some timestamps there as well, uh, but if not, you see the time. So, okay, uh, first off, what you want to do is uh, try and get a squad where you have a point guard who has a dimer and floor general just to increase your stats, uh, random center, it doesn't really matter, and uh, a guy who can shoot threes. So for me, myself, I picked Danny Granger. You can pick whatever, like whoever has range extender on gold at least, like even the same Jared Jack works, or you can pick some uh, pick some budget options like uh, Del Curry, or uh, well, there, you know, you know, there's plenty of guys who has a gold range extender right now, and uh, this will make it super, super easy for you. Uh, also, if you, if you, I don't know if you noticed, but I picked uh, Jerry Jack and James Wiseman. Both of them are uh, evil players, and it seems like game just registers evil players not as their current uh, like rank or level or whatever, but as they would be on their primary level. So if you're picking evil players, that just one more plus for you because you will get easier opponents and uh, once we get into the game as soon as it loads up uh, the opposition shouldn't be too tough like it's just like two two amethysts and uh, and an emerald center and the only thing you need to do is just pay a call for uh, uh, what's it called okay yeah let's start with defense let's just start with defense and for defense just flop just flop let them shoot as much as they want and uh, Personally, I honestly, I, th I think I might even lose this game. I don't know, but yeah, uh, let's just you just call for uh, pass and screen away. You pass for your for your shooter and you shoot, and that's it. Like that's the whole magic. You really don't have to do anything else. And on defense, you just let them shoot, and eventually they'll miss. Yeah, you see, they 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 they're missing. And uh, on fast breaks, you can. Uh, of course, that that was a bad shot. Uh, but yeah, I haven't touched the uh, current gen since uh, since FIBA FIBA championship, which was like two or three months ago. So I I really I'm not sure what I'm doing here <laughs> on current gen. Uh, but yeah, you just call for a pass and screen away, and you pass to your uh, got, well to your shooter, whoever you picked for it. So this is the easiest and definitely the fastest way. The only thing you need to do is just hit your shots and that's it. And on defense, as I said, you let your opponent do whatever. And for passing screen away, if if you do not know how to do that, uh, you just click L1 twice or uh, what is it? Uh, LB on Xbox, you just click that twice. 
and you can call that play. I was rushing, uh, I was rushing that play a bit on a last possession. That's why uh, Danny Granger was uh, like uh, in the. Uh, well, you saw where he was and where I shot from, so that's why it it just it didn't work. But if you if you wait a second until he actually like finds a place to step and sets his both feet, uh, he will he will always have an open shot there. So all you need to do is just hit all seven of your open three pointers and uh, and the game is over. Just like that, it literally takes two to three minutes and. It's super, super, super fast. And by the way, one last thing uh, to know exactly when your player actually set his feet and when can you pass it to him. You see, you see those balls and they switch to access or uh, it would be ace on Xbox. And this is when you know that you can already pass and he will be, well, he will stop moving then. So uh, it well, so your pass will not mess it up. And it literally took me, uh, took me like three minutes to finish this game. And imagine now if, Okay, I, I honestly, I actually forgot to show you that you can actually quit out of this uh, a bit sooner. So you save another 10 or 15 seconds. So as soon as you hit your last shot, I'll just show it to you on a next gen on a next gen part of the video. So if you if you want to skip the next gen, all the next gen talk and just want to see how how that works because it works in both consoles. A eh, timer right here. But yeah, imagine now if I am doing this tutorial and imagine if I actually managed to get Mr. Mr. Dentist right here. Vault actually opens. You see no methods, nothing, not waiting or not doing anything like that. I just click a button. Okay, that's, to that's token. I I it was a long shot. Okay, never mind. Let's move on to the next gen. Okay, so moving to next gen. As I mentioned before, I think it's even faster on next gen just because those loadings are shorter and you get into your games faster. So if you have, if you do have an option to to play it on next gen, I would recommend you do it. Do it there and uh, basically what you need to do is just pick any player who has curry slide and that you just can shoot with so i'll just demonstrate it with a ruby curry who literally costs like one one kmt right now on the auction house so like super cheap option works with whatever and uh i pick one bronze to to dumb down the the opponents uh, the opponent's strength uh, overall overall uh, cards and uh, I'll just pick uh, James Wiseman uh, as I mentioned before uh, if you if you haven't uh, well if you haven't listened to the current gen part so yeah if uh, I pick James Wiseman just because he is an evil player and like you can even upgrade those evos but uh, game just doesn't recognize that he's upgraded and they still like game still reads as it would be his uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Emerald version, version or sapphire lower sapphire version, whichever it was before before it was Evo. Uh, so yeah, anyway, he he just works for me really well if I miss those shots. But yeah, this is this is the squad that you wanna pick, and uh, you don't need to call any plays. You don't need to call for anything. Like on on defense, just flop, just flop all the time, and uh, you can you can block, you can just let them shoot whatever. If they don't shoot. Uh, it's even faster, but yeah, th this is what you do. Of course, I missed here. I uh, I haven't shot with Curry for for quite some time. But once you once you get used to to the player that you're that you're using, it like you you can hit all seven in a row easily. I like when I was doing some sort of challenges before, where you need to like uh, those uh, what you, what you call them uh, weekly challenges that you get uh, spotlight challenges. Well, thank you, thank you, memory. Uh, when I was doing them, I, I was able to hit like 30 out of 30 shots with Curry this way, uh, just by doing this Curry slide every single time. And a lot of people say that uh, fades work as well, but to me, this is just more consistent. Of course, once I once I get get the shot down, but yeah, you, you, even all the whites fall in anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. But yeah, the game the game like as as long as you hit your shots, which you should be able to do it comfortably after a few games, because you, you're literally open every single time and uh, yeah i'm shooting a fourth white in a row but all that doesn't matter uh, I'm, I'm talking let's let's just make an excuse like that yeah so as long as long as you can make your shots at the game i'm telling you it just takes two minutes to finish it off so and like especially after your guy picks like uh, gets a takeover you you just hit everything so yeah all you need is curry slide on offense and flopping on defense and it's really both of these skills are not that hard to learn. So just in case you don't know how to do a curry slide, uh, you 
uh, just a hold the right stick. Uh, oh, I don't even know how to tell you. Uh, I'll just try and do, you'll see it on the screen. Uh, I'll do it in the post production. Yeah, you'll see it on the screen. So yeah, you just do the curry slide like this. So it's either one side or the other side. So when wherever you don't hold the ball. So. Uh, that's it that's simple as that and seven curry slides and seven shots on offense and you will be fine so yeah it just literally takes takes no time at all and one last thing i wanted to show you is like you, if you're playing a lot of games let's say playing 100 games to get to get terry or whatever card you want uh what you want to do after you hit, you hit your last shot uh so yeah we hit it and the screen changes and you can quit here you can quit and uh, that way you basically it still counts as a win as as soon as that uh, screen changed you can see uh, I, I get to open the vault uh, again no methods okay it, it didn't it didn't open this time but it's just pure luck as i said before there is no vault method it, it just there isn't you cannot you cannot tell me otherwise you will not be able to prove it anyway and basically these were the two two easiest ways to uh, finish your triple threat offline games as fast as possible it really literally takes uh, like three to four seconds i'm sorry three to four minutes to do them i like what inspired me kind of to do this video was that I saw a post on Reddit where they said that they tried to count the time. Uh, let me just pull it up for you, that post. But yeah, they, they tried to count the time. Uh, like what could you grind in a certain amount of time and it said that you need seven minutes to finish a triple threat offline game, which just doesn't make sense to me. And uh, it's way faster if you know how to so here you go here you guys go uh use it enjoy it and uh hopefully you will be luckier than than i am because i played i think i played around 200 now uh, well, around 200 games now for uh, for terry dishinger i know that there's people who grinded even well way more than i did five eight hundred and still didn't get him but uh, i just gave up at this point i know that soon they, they, they're gonna release someone like uh, this this vault ends in four days and I'm pretty sure that the next reward is probably gonna be even better so uh, maybe I'll get him but uh, yeah so it is what it is uh, hopefully you will get luckier especially well, if you'll grind for those next uh, four days and you use this and if you just don't give up you will definitely get him so yeah good luck with that boys and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to click a like on it uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button uh, that helps me out a lot but for now i'm out peace